<laughs> Welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Luke. I'm Jasmine. And today we're going to be checking out the Empress Gin. That's right. Our first time doing anything with gin. I'm not the biggest fan of gin, I gotta be honest. So um, this should be interesting. What? Well, I found this on Instagram and uh, I love the color. I Every drink that they make, it looks awesome because of the purple. So, I've been dying to try it. Hottest thing on the gram, huh? I'm, well, I don't know about that. Ah. I liked it, and it caught my attention. So, we're going to give it a go. And it's pretty cool. It comes with a little pamphlet here. Um, just describing what it's made with, uh, how it tastes, the flavoring. What is it made it's, with? Um, the color comes from butterfly pea blossom. You can make a tea out of that, which is actually really good. We have a place local here in town that makes it really good tea with that. Um, so they also came, it also comes with a few recipes, so we're going to give them a go. Couple of drink suggestions. Mm -hmm. Alright, sounds good. We're going to do one of our, oh, we're going to taste it first though. Yes. Alright, let's try it out. measure it out you can or just that is definitely the coolest looking gin that I've ever seen <laughs> definitely has that gin smell Compared to most of the gin I've had, which I've only had your basic gin, Tanqueray, the Sapphire, um, maybe Beefeater. It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely a lot smoother than what I've ever had as far as gin. That's good. Alright, let's... We're gonna make a drink with it. Let's oh, do, do your own first, right? Yeah, we're gonna do one of our own first. Um, if you would pass the gin. <laughs> Let's do an ounce and a half. Don't spill it, it's expensive. Yes, um, how much did this bottle cost you, Jazz? It cost me 50 at our liquor store. It goes for 40 online through their website. I would imagine if you're paying shipping, it probably comes out to 50 anyway. So, probably. it's All worth right. it though. So, we're going to do an ounce and a half of the Empress Gin. And I've got St. Germain. Which is? Um, an elderflower liqueur. So, a sweet liquor, flavored like elderflowers. I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce of that, and then we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of our sweet and sour. And three quarters of an ounce of cranberry juice. It's very interesting. Yeah, we'll see, right? <laughs> It with a... So I'm pretty sure he's just making this up as he goes. Yeah. Kind of. 
which is kind of cool. Actually. I mean, I had an idea of what I was going <laughs> to do. That's what makes our, our little shindig so cool. <laughs> well, we'll see if this works. If it tastes good, we'll leave the recipe for you in uh, the description. If not, I'm gonna do it anyway. we won't. <laughs> Just because we don't like it doesn't mean someone else won't. I like it. I like it's sweet. Sweet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might be a little too sweet. I'm sure there's a lot of people who love that. I like it. That's interesting. I still taste the gin in there. Yeah. For someone who might not be a gin drinker, but wants to try like, something pretty like this, that's good. Yeah. All right, so what do we got next? Oh, um, so they have one in here. It's called a Q1908, because it's Empress 1908 gin. So we're gonna go with <laughs> it's two ounces of the gin. Two ounces of gin. I'm gonna squeeze out first. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice. It's gonna start. It says about three quarter ounce. of simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce. And then we have three quarter ounce egg white. Which we've already got measured out. That's it. That's it. That's it. Alright. They garnish it with edible flowers, which we do not have. We do not have that. <laughs> but I'd like to get. shake again without the ice. Do you want to do that? Sure. We can do that. That's interesting. Yeah. Yep. I've never done that before. I would like to get those edible flowers though. It's not usually something you just have to lay around the house. <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> Better than mine? <clears throat> no. Really? 
They're both just as sweet. That one's still sweet. Ooh. See, this has got. Oh, that, I think I like that it's one. It's got better. that butterfly pea blossom extract or whatever. So, I mean, it makes it sweet. So, once you start mixing it with stuff, it. No, that one's that's really that one's good. that one's really good. I mean, that's definitely better than my sweet and sour cranberry mix <laughs> I, over there. I mean, yeah, I just I like them both, but that's very good. I yeah. can drink that. I think, and with the egg whites and the it. fresh lemon juice. Yeah, that's very very good. It's very light. Good job, Empress. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Yes. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, please hit it for us. It helps us out in a huge way. If you guys are looking for more videos, more drink ideas, whether you're just making drinks at home or you're actually working behind the bar somewhere, we'll be coming with a lot more. Thank you. Bye.